is your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If you do not know that you do not even know, then there is a problem. Because you need to know how the world works. If the nut puts in press characters and then says nuts the characters like religious affairs or religious and faith organizations, they are going to support the deepening of preventive knowledge. How, how should that be done? But right now in this house, you will be a church leader like uh, you are very anointed, you are serving the whole of your God, but you do not know that there is an access to the information act. You do not know there is a whistleblower protection act. I have been in the fight against corruption for a while. And where people get to know that these are actually corrupt tendency, then knowledge will begin coming. Where they don't know, they will think it is normal. So nobody will come. And that is what we have also found here, that, you know, in the rural areas, in the towns and the outside the city, even in the city, people seem to adore those who appear in large cars, those who build houses. For a short time, you see a big mansion come, they say, that fellow has made it. And uh, certainly, that is wrong. We have to tell the people that when somebody comes out like that, ask them, they ask them, where have you got this money? Eh? That is actually how we can expose this corruption. So, corruption is real. We are running a country where there is moral decay, highest level of moral decay, where we have serious family breakdown. And the kind of generations we are having, it's like, uh, corruption tendency is being instilled in the generation because when you move around you see statement from parents statement from the population about covering up things in form of uh, of token of 